Well, after the really good first what's really going wrong video and people got used to uh, seeing surf videos with all the fun involved, and Lost kind of like developed that little market. And people haven't seen it since that first video. Lost has had a couple videos since then. And no one's really had a video out that shows all the insanity, but in actuality, that's what people want to see because that's what's really going on, the insanity. So we're going to come out with a new video, The Decline of Surfing Civilization in America, and it's going to show drunk and wasted surfers, the top surfers in the world, partying out with whoever they don't care, having the best time of their life, but it's going to show it how it really is. It ain't made up to look some like little put together production where, yeah, these guys are hot, they hang out, they play guitar. We ain't got none of that. I'm Sean Mullen. I'm a pretty good surfer and a very good drinker, and I have fire for breath because I smoke a lot of cigs. So I'm going to send my portfolio to Marvel and say, Look, dude, I smoke menthols, I smoke lights, I smoke reds, I'll smoke the butts out of the ashtray in the morning and drink warm beer. So you guys should hook me up, you know, 100 grand a year, business account, all the Marvel gear, a, a company ride, you know, 
a frequent flyer gold card, send me to Kira, dude. I'll smoke cigs in the two backside while I'm cutting rabbit off, okay? I'm serious. I'm not even kidding. I live for this song. I live for it. And it, li it makes me live. Whenever you get so freaked out, we're gonna just blame our surfing careers on you. Robertson's gonna claim it was all your fault. You know what? It was. <laughs> Loss is not good for people like Robertson. Okay, you guys make this fake image with Wardo and Corey and all your guys, guys that really rip. <laughs> And you make it seem like guys who can't rip can do these fucking contests and you send them around the world. And we don't do shit but lose first fucking heat. Okay, we're like Strider here. Okay, we don't want to see no contest sections.
Cairo soon Root from some god tomb Things will be different there The sun will rise from here Then I'll be ten feet tall And you'll be nothing at all Yeah, I got my time machine I got my electronic game So I can do so, ain't no loser I try to start I started trying to do those fucking 180s those Ollie 180s you know and those guys must have been, you know, they must have practiced that a lot because I can see it's pretty hard, you know, and try to keep the board to your feet and everything, you know, bringing it around and everything like that. And I tried, I did one in a contest, <laughs> and I got a fucking three. I scored my way with three because the lady's a fucking cunt. She's, everyone on the fucking beach fucking yelled, man. They fucking thought it was the fucking best thing. She was just like, this ain't fucking skateboarding. <laughs> So all the judges gave you threes, or just that? That one lady, I know what it was. I caught her pissing behind my van one day.
I was surfing against Hallman and those guys. I don't know, man. I got fucking bold on that contest. <laughs> I don't know, it's because I'm new this year and a lot of guys have been in it for a few years, you know, and then all of a sudden I come in here and I start fucking surfing these contests, you know, and I don't have a good reputation fucking from the bat. So they see me show up and they're just like, oh, fuck. Fucking flip. We'll give him a fucking three. <laughs> like fucking pretty much three quarters of the fucking guys that surf in fucking New York so I don't fucking give a shit I'll fucking drop right in on them. Lopez, I think, is very similar to Andy in that I think neither of them have a real set plan when they stand up and ride a wave. I think Corey is really, uh, he's amazing. His, uh, his knees, he's got knees made out of something different than mine because uh, I've seen that guy just do the most amazing maneuvers and just come out of it like it's no big deal. And most people would break their knees doing stuff like that. And uh, he's crazy too. He took off on a wave in Tahiti this year that I, 
if you ask anybody, I think it's the, probably the heaviest wave anybody's ever seen somebody try to ride. It was it was pretty it was pretty impressive, especially for a guy who grew up on the Gulf Coast of Florida, not surfing anything over knee high. Six eyes, I got a garbage brain that's driving me insane And I don't like a ride, so push the best to the side And baby, I won't care, cause baby, I don't scare Cause I'm a reborn maggot using gym warfare Rock You know, Marshes come back as so disguised as surfers because they just land out there in the lineup, paddle in, nobody like really notices them. Really? <laughs> that's possible. Yo, that's where it starts. See, that explains a lot, though. No, no, that's right. If I was a fake alien being, I'd come back as disguised as a surfer. You just kind of like paddle in like everybody else. Yeah, the else. social security number. Right you now? land out in the middle of the desert, everybody notices you. That's why, like, it's a big controversy between aliens here and aliens out in the Midwest. And aliens out, like, in Nevada where the test ranges are and shit. Those aliens don't realize the sand is sand. They just kind of, like, come in for a soft landing. The ones that, like, land around there, the surfers are lucky because they just disguise themselves, get aboard, paddle in like everybody else. Hey. Nobody knows the wise Nobody realizes. Dude. Why do you think the expo is so heavy duty?
gonna change from blue to purple. Oh, you sick fuck. <laughs> so, Grom, I got one question. What's with the pink hat? What? What's with the pink hat? I don't know. It's my style. <laughs> I'm over the whole industry and everything. And uh, this year I just wanted to come out and surf and have fun and uh, have a good time in a swimming pool. You have a lot of fans out here, you know, there's some great cheers on a few ways you just rode there at that final. No, it, it, it's a... Uh... Yeah!
desert sand When the desert whispered to me He said, isn't this a shame? Things will never be the same Kelly Slater does not like detentions, homework, C grades. I got D's and F's, point fours and point eights. <laughs> surf class. Every day was surf class for me. Detentions. Got many of those. Missed plenty of contests because it's Saturday school. <laughs> Saturday school, that's, that's the one Slater never got. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks, I see it. I'll chug it for a hundred bucks. What's this? Yeah! Gorkin, look at me. Yeah, stop it. Yeah, stop, I make money! See?
This could have a negative impact on your career, though. Darn. I'm, I'm going to be the new Hawk guy. Hawk's going to be my new career. I'm just going to fucking get They don't really don't do anything for me, but when kids call up and want to get sponsored, they say, well, if you can beat Dustin, we'll sponsor you. But if you can't beat me, we don't give you anything because we don't give anything to Dustin. Being a role model to all those kids out there, how do give them a step-by-step, -step, like how they could get by surfing without having to work. <coughs> California on zero dollars a day. Well, first you got to get some sponsors, kids. So they can give you free stuff and you can go home and sell it to all your friends. How are you gonna eat? How are you gonna eat? It's where you gotta find the rich girlfriend. What if you don't have a girlfriend at the time? Then you just, that's Everybody when you go to the welfare office and get your food stamps. Have you done that? 
Yes. What's your place in the game in Randall Land? What spot's your Just these detox. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we gotta leave because, you know, I haven't had a drink in like five minutes. Have you ever been in rehab? No. Going to rehab. I'm going to rehab. I haven't been yet. It is, it is windy. It's a little windy out there. This might be the one. Well, I always gotta, you know, drive in the car. With it kind of stinks in here, though. <laughs> that I way think we really, ran over a skunk on the way here. <laughs> that way, when I really gotta pee, I could just go in my suit in the car. Oh, I know. I gotta, like a pee town.
Where is everyone? Hello. I'm all by myself. Tell me about that last one. I think that's a, a pretty good sized closed out barrel. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're coming to you from the Lost Castle. I'm your host, King Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Lost's presentation of Momentum 3, otherwise known as the Wrath of Chicken. Gail... <coughs> Gail <laughs> Slater is not the star of the movie. Of course Gail Slater is not the star. There is I no am. ridiculously There is no big fight, motherfucker. Of course not. We have no... He's a mature. He we have no... He's gone around Major the world Cohen. in one fucking fight. Most of the writers in this movie... Get high with me. He does. We can't afford a team. We can't afford a team, but most of the team can't afford to get me high. Who's your favorite Lost Rider? Okay, look at our last two champs for this round. Do they even have a team?
the brakes. No, no bike. <laughs> no bike. No bike. Look, here goes the bike. No, you can do the bike. <laughs> it's waiting for you to get on it. Look. Hey, look. Come down here. Do I'll do it if you do it. I'll get hurt tonight. I can't <laughs> you can do it right now. Just yeah. step up. I can do it. Body serving the last circle. Body serving's gonna hurt a, a whole lot more. A whole lot more. <laughs> the board's okay, you gotta do it again. The board's perfect. <laughs> Why didn't you pull that? Yeah, we're gonna get all died, dude. I can't do this anymore. Here, come on. Get up. Get up. I can't do it. No. No, no. I will not do it. No, I will not do it. You said you will not do it. I will not do it. No, I will not do it. You gotta do it. No, I will not do it. Do it, Rondo. No, I will not do it. <laughs> that was Welcome to Laura Pillsbury. And if she were to be stranded on a desert isle, she said she'd like to hang out with surfer Kelly Slater. Let's hear it.
Good to die back and eating. I like food. Food is good. I like food. Food is good. Brownie. How's it going? Good. What do you Amazing. think of the waves out there? It's awesome today. Training, low tides. Sample <laughs> Stop. Here, get it, go around. I oh, got it. Right when we go slow, go slow. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> Go ahead and rock. I'm smoking these niggas like they endo. Breaking them like they windows and still they whip till they get a whip. But the shit that I kick and if they ever had a notion to stop me. Shoot your best shot and get dropped with your posse. Static. I got more than 
than you can hop I'm rockin' a spot, so now they jock Come, come and get dropped Two o'clock ain't tryna hear it I'm swimming at your rock I'm swimming at your not so hot Static is the last thing you need When you see me Better have a bat or a gap to defeat me Nigga, I'm a whole posse rolled in the one shot Taking all you got While your girl gets hot and rocks the spot Static Static
Oh, he's got static on the brain, and he's out of control now. Colonel's got a problem, and he's out of control. He's got. Hey, I think Lost oh my God. sucks. Lost sucks. All the guys that fucking hang out with Lost suck. The only thing about good about Lost is Corey Lopez, and he sucks too. <laughs> She is Malia Majika Mohammed Budweiser, the <laughs> baddest surfing dog in Hawaii. This dog specializes in big waves. We rode a few waves together. Oh. Yeah, she causes a lot of commotion like this. Now the dogs want to ride her board. When she was in California, the surf was flat this summer, so she saw everybody skateboarding and she just went crazy. She'll sit down and put her back feet and her front paws and her tail over the edge. So. That's her thing, is the Hang 21. <laughs> Our German intern, Torge Thies, was impressed. So, Torge, do you have surfing dogs in Germany? No, it's unbelievable. No surfing dogs, only hunting dogs and running dogs, but no surfing dogs. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.
Oh, is she all right? I don't know what it was. I caught a pissing behind my van one day. We were at a contest at Laurelton, and it was real cold out, and it was nowhere to go to the bathroom. I had my van parked against the boardwalk, and the windows were all tinted in there. We were all in there smogging, man. There was like eight or nine guys were all sitting in there. And also, she came down, and she started looking. She was looking like right at us through the tent, but she couldn't see us, you know? We were all in there, we're like... And also, she comes over, she fucking drops her pants, man, starts taking a fucking leak on the ground next to the van. We were all like, ah, like fucking yelling and shit, fucking... And then right after that, she kind of got like, didn't like me, you know? So then the next contest, she was one of the judges and kind of like, fuck me. Because of that, that's the main reason. So there's some kids who might consider you a, a role model. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Uh, maybe though. <laughs> I think Flip might consider me a. <laughs> you think it would. a surf company could ever make beer? I think you got. Lost could probably make some pretty good beer. The Lost Brew. If any company could do it, you guys could. You guys should make beer instead of surfboards. <laughs> Yeah, it's been doing me good. <laughs> Won a contest. Got my first frontside air on video. <laughs> it's definitely because I have been drinking. When's the last time you drank? Last night. <laughs> That movie is fucking dust, dude.